Hello Mulis, in this session we are going to discuss about uh, time timestamps and dates. So this is pretty common in data view that uh, most of our projects uh, this kind of transformations are involved and uh, most of you might know uh, this how to transform to string to date, date to string or how to get years or all these things. But few of the things I wanted to tell you like uh, what are the most common mistakes that as a developer we do and uh, how easy it is to remind things okay. So uh, before going further like I would always uh, request you guys as docs.mulesoft.com is the best uh, place where you can find each and every syntax so go with that if you are not uh, you know uh, comfortable with this video or if you want more more syntaxes you have to always go to docs.mulesoft and search for the syntax okay coming back uh, I'll just start a uh, start off so I have few syntaxes I am commenting out others and I will go step by step okay this is pretty common syntax as I said like uh, uh, now is the timestamp if you want to print timestamp now and small braces you know uh, small braces gives the timestamp of current timestamp okay now you can see my current uh, time is 9.56 21.56 which is 9.58 pm okay so this will give your current timestamp value so this is giving my current time zone whatever time zone i am in currently i am in cet time zone so it is giving the time as uh, 2156 of course it is run before but if i just comment it out and remove it again you can see my time is updated 2158 so this will give the current timestamp and the time zone will be wherever your application or your server is placed okay now my my local or my computer is in CET time zone so it is displaying CET time but what if in our most of the scenario cases we might require that whenever we are updating some database whenever there is a requirement for you for example your MuleSoft application is deployed in Europe zone but if your database is in some other region like Latin America or America's region then that there, there would be a time difference right so you cannot use just use now so talk with the business what is the timestamp in which zone it has to be and uh, define that timestamp uh, time zone uh, when you are updating the timestamp so it's always better for example I am uncommenting the second syntax so how to define the time zone it's now greater than greater than CST so just have a space between greater than greater than before and after now you can see this is the CST time which is like close to 3 p.m. So, right so this is how you have to mention the time zone okay but it is always even though if you want to even though if you are deploying on the same server it is always better to define the time zone so that you won't have any issues with the business all right likewise if you want to print ist time zone you can see three different time zones this is cet this is cst and this is ist likewise you can uh, you can find the geo codes okay uh, in docs.mulesoft.com these are the standards so you can print the timestamp respect for the respective time zones now if you want to extract only year month or day since the syntax is very simple now dot year will give year you can see on my right side only year will give you know 2021 so it's just now dot year and then now dot month and if you want only date it's now dot day clear so here uh, date it's not date it's just day okay again most of you might just give now dot date it will not give the date because date is combination of day month and year okay don't get confused with that next if you want if you in your business scenarios there are requirements where you need to add a period of time right if you want to add two days three days or two months or three months or two years or three years what is the syntax that we have to use so and I am uncommenting this line you can see I am adding two years to it so what is the syntax now plus in pipeline symbol it is P2Y P stands for period two is for how many what is the units you want to add and y stands for year that means period of two years you are adding to the current timestamp so that's the reason you can see 20 23 9 and 15 here likewise if you want to add months you can use now dot 2 pm which is giving you know 11th month currently my uh, current month is September and we are adding two months to it 
likewise if you want to add days just use 2d which will give two days to the existing one okay so this is about adding months and adding dates and adding years likewise if you want to subtract months years or something it is quite simple just use minus instead of plus which makes sense clear so these are very similar syntax quite often we will be using but uh, most often uh, syntaxes that we use in mule dates and times transformation is converting your date or timestamp into a specific format okay for that if you want to convert a date into a required format whatever required format you want so here is the syntax i am uncommenting 14th line here so it's like now this will give current date always use best practice as as string okay then use the format symbol it's like now as string and within flower braces the key value pair is format the key is format and the value should be what is the required format you want so my required format is yyyy mmndt which is giving 2021 and 15 okay and you can observe one thing that yyyy and dd are always in lower case but y mm is in upper case there is a reason because if you consider mm we don't know whether you wanted to have minutes or months so m and m are getting confused here that's the reason the uppercase m stands for months and the lowercase m stands for minutes so by mistake if you give mm over here what it will give it is give the third minute you can see it is like 10 3 right it is taking the minute so it might it might you might be thinking it is march right but it is not so if i just give hyphen here like if I give hyphen, it might misguide you because it is 2021 3. People think it is March, but it is not. It is the third minute. So always use uppercase M for month and lowercase M for uh, minutes. All right. So this is how you can uh, format. Okay. I can show you two more uh, formats. If you can see here, what is the difference here? You are getting the value as SCP. That means you are getting the month uh, name the first three characters of that month why because here we are defining three uppercase m's when you are defining the format if you want full name very simple you have to just use four m's which will give full month name clear so this is how you can format from one format to other you can use iphone or you know oblique any way you can use it's all about your wish the format but make sure that this should be a valid date as now is a valid date it's it's always you know valid here next uh, if you want to convert a string to date this is very crucial and important okay let me copy one of the same date here okay and paste it here and I will uncomment line number 18. So before uncommenting line number 18, line number 17, I want see previously you can see current time now is printing the whole timestamp here. When I say timestamp, it includes date and time. But here in line number 17, you can see I, I want only date and that's the reason it is giving only date, which is combination of year, month and date so the always the format would be month here 09 is the month and date is the 15th now you want to convert this into date so you have a string value which is coming as your input and there is a requirement that you have to convert it into date okay in that case <coughs> here you can see it is throwing an error why you can see here it is throwing an error there is a reason why so here you have to keep in mind this string whatever string you are getting as input should uh, whenever you are defining some format make sure that it is matching with your input what is happening over here you are defining mm at last but your input mm is having 15 right so month you are saying it it should be 50 month cannot be more than 15 that means my format is wrong okay what well, that's the reason what i have to do is i have to write mm here and then dd here and then only you can see the output is coming to this so there is um, there is no way that you can manipulate your string into your uh, date without having the same format okay one more example if i say 09 if i type scp here again you can see there is an error here 
right why because your string is having something like characters here scp but it is not the correct format okay you can see here it is mm but the input is in uh, mmm so what you have to do to overcome that error you have to define capital m so that it is now a type so how to check whether it is a, a date format or not so it's we all we can always use type of okay and wrap it everything here it is showing date so to convert a string to date please make sure that this format and your format which you want should be of same way but still if you ask me someone i just wanted to have some different format like you know i want to convert this scp i need full uh, name of you know the month yes we can still do what you can do is wrap everything whatever you have in a small places and then again you can do as string over here and then open flower braces format and say y y y y hyphen m m m m hyphen d d this way you can convert your timestamp uh, string time string time to your desired output but before doing this part before doing this part first convert this string as it is to date format so here you can see 2021 means y y y y uh, scp means m m m and d d again if your input is having backslash here it will not accept okay so it should be exact replica of what you are passing okay here and this and after doing that wrap always i always suggest best practice is to wrap everything in a small braces now what now as it is in date format which is like equal to this syntax you can convert to whatever format you want that way we can get a full name right so this is pretty easy next another syntax is so this is very important string to date if you have any questions you can always post your comments uh, on this video i'll be happy to help you next other syntax is days between so if i remove this so again uh, when, I, uh, when 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 i always teach you guys i always say you that don't write syntax right away okay it's better for example first i will remove this and i will print now okay now minus p to d sorry this is pipeline symbol my bad so now minus p to d what is that now minus p to d is you are uh, so current my today's date is 15th of september but i have subtracted two days from the current timestamp which is like 13th of september now consider wrap this everything in one single uh, subset okay now what i want is i i want my now that means current date my i want to calculate how many days are between these two dates so now minus 13th so now we'll give current timestamp which is 15th of september minus 13th of september which is two days okay right but what it is giving here okay it will not it will never say it is two days the difference between two dates will always give the difference between two dates will always give in hours so it is your job to convert it into you know days okay clear so you can see it is p t t means time 47 hours 59 minutes 57 seconds it's close to 48 hours right so 48 hours is the difference that is what it is showing okay if i just do dot something so again if you do if you want in seconds or minutes or hours what you can do is wrap everything within small braces and just click on dot which gives um, i can say click on days now it is saying one day clear then hours you can see 23 hours clear so this is how you have to do so please keep in mind that uh, pt so it is always in hours okay that is one thing next thing is if you want to know whether you are in ad or bc like before christ or after death right so to know that the syntax is now a string format g g represents whether it is like ad or bc it's like after death so it is like uh, you are in ad not bc okay 
and if you want to know the week name whether it is uh monday or tuesday or wednesday or thursday uh, to know the value or you know to know the day which day it is uh, it is uh, the syntax which we need to use is four e's okay three e's will give only wed just like we have used for month two e's will no give the uh, you know count of the day it's like wednesday right so it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it is four. So triple E will give three letters and four E's will give the full one. And if you give four E capital, it will give it. Okay, this is this doesn't work in case of uh, uh, days, but Wednesday will to print your day. It, this is the syntax clear. So next again, if you want it to be know whether it is AM or PM, a is used to so format of a a represents am or pm okay so as you can see now it is like 10 12 pm for me so it is pm clear so next for 24 hours format use small k you know it is like 10 pm so this is giving like it is just a hours okay so it is 22 for 12 hour format use uppercase k that will give 10 okay based upon your requirement now you can say 22 if you need pm to be defined then you can use 12 hour format it's like 10 pm but if you use 24 hour format you don't require am or pm isn't it so pretty simple next at last time zone if you want to see what time zone it belongs to the all the format is uh, four zeros okay that will give you your gm data now you know here you can see if i say like um, greater than greater than cst okay let me put this into brackets so here you can see gmt minus zero five all right so this will give the time zone value so, so here i will just uh, explain you these formats if g will give uh, the whether it belongs to bc or ad four is will give full name of the day and to know am or pm you have to use small a and then to know if you want to print it in 24 hours format use lowercase k if you want to uh, have it in uh, 12 hour format use uppercase k and to know the time zone you have to use four zeros so this is pretty much all about mostly the commonly widely used uh, syntaxes for data transform date transformations date and timestamp so if you have any questions again feel free to comment on the below video i am always happy to help you hope you like this session see you in the other one